Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. Welcome if this is your first time watching one of my videos. What's up? So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the top five best and the top five worst products that I have tried 2021, 2020 edition. Disclaimer, sorry, disclaimer. My disclaimer is what works for me might not work for you and what works for you might not work for me. So some of these products, if they are on your favorite list, I'm happy that it works out for you. This is just some of the products that did not work on my hair for different reasons. And that's all I gotta say. So the worst product that I have tried would be the Nature's Little Secret Styling Gel. Listen, that gel, one word, flakes. That's all I have to say. I'm not scared of flakes. You know, with some products, I do have that white residue in the front of my hair. But with this gel, I had flakes that I've never encountered before, which is all over my hair. So, of course, I got clips of all these products. So, let's start with the first one. I took my hair out of my bonnet. I didn't even take away, I didn't even take off my full bonnet. I just went like this, up, oh, and then I saw the flakes. There is a lot of flakes, and the flakes, I've never seen it like this before. Don't get me wrong, with gel, I, I've seen flakes. But throughout my hair, like the back of my hair and then to the side of my hair, like I had a lot of flakes. And I feel like I still I still have flakes in my hair. But yeah, something, I don't know if these products do not work out well together. Part two, I did wash my hair again. We're going to try this baby out. My curls are wet. I follow the directions. So let's see. I forgot you washed your hair. Yeah, I did. I rewashed it. I think, I didn't even get to see how it looks, but what do you see? There's still flakes. Still flakes, but not as much as no, no. the first time I used it. Really? Are you sure? I think it's just. A Wait a minute. Flakes. I didn't check. I think it's not as much. Turn, go back over here real quick. Let me record the back of your head for you. Yeah, so this product just flakes on me. Oh, you only used it by itself, right? Yeah, I did. I washed my hair. Dang, weird. Wash my hair. No, it's still just as bad. Well. So when I tried that product by itself, you saw that I still got flakes all over my hair. I was very shocked. So that would be one of the worst products I have tried and moving on. So the next product I would say would be the Camille Rose Honey Leave-In. Now with that leave-in, I would just say that it was too heavy on my hair. And you can see in this footage right here that my hair is really weighed down. So. As a leave-in conditioner, my hair didn't feel dry, but the fact that my hair looks very oily and it just it just doesn't look nice. So this one is a new product that I recently tried out, but like I am not a fan of it. It's the Sultanical Styling Custard. I did not like that product. I didn't find it to be too moisturizing on my hair. And this product claimed to give a lot of definition and I didn't really get that so I wasn't a fan of it. My hair is just looking dry as it was drying. My curls were not come together. I did apply a good amount all throughout my hair and I was just not feeling it. I had to redo my hair to make it work but yeah, I'm not a fan of that custard. So another product that did not work out for me was by Cake Beauty. This is the Cake Beauty Curl Crush Styling Curl Jelly. I don't know, this this product, I just don't like the way that my hair looks. It's another product that my hair does look very, it looks kind of weighed down. It looks frizzy. I didn't notice that much of a moisture to my hair. And I'm not getting any long lasting curl definition. So as a curling jelly, it didn't do what I was looking for. So. I was not a fan of that product. And then the last product I would mention that would be the worst of 2021 for me would be an edge control. I don't have it with me, but it was the quickest return. I showed you guys on Instagram stories. So it's the Do Edge Control. I think it's the Swagoo. That product, it had a strong scent. I wasn't mad at the scent. It had, a, I think, a blueberry or like a fruit punch scent. And I didn't mind it. I thought it smelled pretty good. It was pretty strong though. As soon as I laid my edges down, my curls, my edges curled back up. So it didn't have such a strong hold. So it didn't give me the control I was looking for and an edge control, so that was the quickest return I ever did. Now let's talk about the best, okay? Let's keep it positive. Some of the best product that I have tried so far, I would say the Azure Bow Mint Moisturizing Shampoo. 
that shampoo provides the moisture it does have a minty scent to it so it's not a super clarifying shampoo where your hair feels stripped after you use it but this is a very i say a moisture balance where it does provide that mintiness where it feels like you're it's cleaning your scalp good but it doesn't strip your hair at all so that shampoo is one of the best shampoos i've ever tried this year and i am a fan of it of course i cannot make a video without mentioning the curl junkie pattern push and gel that gel i have a little bit left and i do have to repurchase it but that has been one of my go-to gels this year. If I'm looking for really nice day two hair, it gives me such good volume, good curl definition, nothing too long lasting because it doesn't have a strong hold. But that gel has a place in my heart that definitely I have to repurchase. So the next product that has been one of the best that I've tried so far was by Innate Life, and this is the scalp treatment. So this I like to do as an overnight pre-poo. So it has a lot, a lot of good ingredients in it. And when my hair feels, when I know I'm going to wash it and it just feels very itchy, I got flakes, I would apply this oil all throughout my scalp, massage it in, leave it in overnight. And when I wash it the next morning, like the, the flakes are lifted up so it's easy to wash out. But this has a lot of good ingredients that I know has a lot of good benefits for my hair. And I really, really do like that scalp treatment. Another product is a hair mist. It is by Which I Love Your Hair and Peppermint rosemary those two ingredients sold me and i like to use it as a refresher on my hair two ways on my hair when my hair is freshly clean i will spray it all throughout my hair massage it in and then i'll apply my leave-in conditioner as normal i would apply it also as a refresher so instead of just using water to refresh my hair i'll just apply that spray and then if i need to touch up with like a gel or a cream i will use that and another way is on my face so if i feel like if i'm feeling real stressed and i need to smell something that's gonna wake me up i'll go ahead and spray that all over my face it has argan oil i believe peppermint rosemary castor oil so it has a lot of good ingredients for your skin and also for your hair so i'll just play it on my face and work it to go okay and the last product that i would say would be the best that i have tried for 2021 was it did i try it this year or last year you know to be honest that's why i'm mixing all these 2020 2021 together because it's such a blur I don't know when I tried which product, which year I tried something, but it would be the Sultanical Ayurvedic Superfood Treatment Blend. It's a powder, so you can use it multiple ways. So if you want to just apply water to the powder, you can use that and it could be it could just be an Ayurvedic powder mask, or you can add it to a deep conditioner to hook it up and take it to the next level. So I like to apply it to like a conditioner that I feel like it can need more balm ingredients. I'll apply that Ayurvedic treatment to it and it takes my hair to the next level. It has a lot of things to help strengthen your hair, helps it grow and be stronger. And I keep mentioning that I need to make my own hair oil. Like I have all the ingredients since September. Oh, since I know, for real, since September, I had all the ingredients to make my own hair oil and I was gonna use that treatment blend you know to add more of the ayurvedic herbs to it i still got it in the box it could have been away brewing for like three months and i still have all the ingredients in a box so i need to get it together but now i did ask you guys on instagram and also on my community page to leave some of your best and worst products so let's talk about that so someone said the worst was can too and i believe it I believe it, the Cantu was one of the worst. I tried the leave-in conditioner such a long time ago, and when I did use it, it left my hair feeling very dry. So that's why I don't really like to use Cantu products on my hair. And they said the best was Shea Moisture. So most of the best for them was Sultanicals. Now, you know what? I love Sultanicals. I love Sultanicals a lot. I love their hair mask. I love their gel. But I'm starting to see some of their styling products. The leave-in conditioner is good because it's like a mild form of their deep conditioner and I think they make really good deep conditioners but I think some of their styling products like the custard I was not a fan of and I tried another gel from them and I wasn't a fan I just think Sultanicals makes really bomb conditioner so that I don't think you can get wrong from them someone said the worst was a curl smith souffle I tried a lot of things from curl smith but the souffle was not one of them if you say it's one of the worst I'm gonna stay away from it someone said best there's like five Product Junkie Natural, Nature Little Secret, Main Crush, Sultanicals, Botanica, Deep Conditioner. That sounds like a really good brand. And then someone said the time Diva Curl made me lose my hair. I'm sorry about that. You see that Diva Curl is making like a whole rebranding. They have like, I think they have, I think they reformulated their product and they also dropped something new. Are you guys, yeah, okay, well let's move on. 
So from my community page, this is what some of you guys were saying. Let me say here because on my community page on YouTube, you guys like went into detail. So I love that. So top five, Soterical's, Curls and Potion, Up North Naturals, Main Crush Curls. We got Honey's Handmade on Jackie Mayel. Another comment said that the top five from them was Camille Rose, Moisture and Ingredients, Curls and Potion, they love the ingredients, customer service and performance, Kinky Tresses, they love the moisture, Main Crush, Ingredients and Customer Service, Main Crush, their ingredients were really good. I did buy a hair oil from them and I loved it a lot. Not so good, we're gonna cut it short. Eat his body work, their hair mask tangled their hair and it felt like spider webs. We got on Jackie's, Eco Styler, As I Am. Some of the great products that they did try this year was African Pride, Aunt Jackie, and the Afro G Keratin Two Minute Reconstruction because it was extremely good. So those are some of the best and worst products that you guys have mentioned to me. Now leave me down below if you have any other that you want to add. What do you think about my list? Some of the worst and some of the best. Do you agree with it? Do you not agree with it? Let's chat down below. Anthony, what do you think? I agree with your list because you show solid evidence of why stuff didn't work for you. Exactly. And why stuff did. You're not bashing them, but it's like... I'm not. Honestly, it's, it's like... It work. I'm not. So, like, when Nature Little Secret, their styling gel, that custard, one of the worst custards and gels I've ever tried, but their Irish Moss Styling Cream is one of my favorite styling creams. So, what one brand didn't give me at the same time they did, if that makes sense. So, let me know, like, for real. What do you think about this list? And if you guys are watching the video to this point... Anthony, what should they leave me? They should leave you a trophy award. Trophy I love that. Award. I love that. So leave me a trophy emoji. I'll show you guys what it looks like up top. That way I know you're watching the video to this point. Make this oil. When am I going to make this oil, man? I think during Christmas break, That's during Christmas, job. I'm going to make the hair oil. I think I'll do that. Start the year off fresh. <sighs> because I'm thinking, like, if I make the oil, I want to make two batches. One batch I want to use right away. Like, so I might let it brew for like a week or maybe like even like like a day or two. And then I want to have one brewing for like maybe two or three months. Okay, so you can do the flash brew where you actually heat it up mm -hmm. and the one where it just sits in the dark? Exactly. Nice. I got to do it, man. I got to do it. I got all these ingredients here. Anthony, can you pass it to me? We got a cheesecloth because I was like official about this. I have this extra virgin olive oil and then I just have my mason jars some hair tea that i definitely want to incorporate in it where's the the powder that i mentioned like i have so many things that i want to make in this bomb hair oil because i know what i like in a hair oil so like why not make it myself so definitely i need to get around to it but anyways the point of this video is to talk about some of the best and worst products that i've tried so far so definitely leave some of your Thoughts down below. What are some of your best, worst products of 2020, 2021? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.